another PE lesson. This time, this lesson is going to focus on our hand-eye coordination. Hand-eye coordination is used for a whole lot of things in your life. You use it to help you learn how to tie your shoes, get dressed, play sports, play video games, write your name, build things, make things with your hands and your eyes. So there's a lot of great things that you can do to get better. And the more comfortable you get, the more confident you get, the more things you're gonna to wanna to try as you get older. In this video, we're gonna do it hockey style. Now I know you may not be a big player or fan of hockey, but that's okay. It's gonna work your brain as much as it's gonna work your heart for today's lesson. So you might say, I don't have a hockey stick. That's okay. If you remember the video in the spring when you were with us, we made a hockey stick using a paper towel roll, an F1. We put a hole in it, we added a stick through the holes, and we duct taped to make it a nice stick. Well, you don't have to do that. You can just simply use something that's in your house, such as a broom. So I'm borrowing this broom from school. Now here's an important thing. Would you put your left shoe on your right foot and your right shoe on your left foot? Of course not. Why? Because it wouldn't feel comfortable. Well, it's the same day, same thing with using a hockey stick, or in this case, a broomstick. How you gonna hold it is pretty simple. You have to figure out first which hand do you write with? I use this hand. This is my right hand. So that means the other hand is my left hand. So if you don't know your left from your right, you can put your fingers up. One's going to make it left. One's going to make it backwards left. So I'm right-handed. So I use this hand to write. I'm going to grab the stick with this hand. I'm going to grab it at the top with my thumb down towards the ground. My palm facing my belly. I'm going to use my right hand, my wavy hand, and I'm going to put it in the middle of the stick with my palm facing towards the camera. Now, if I use my other hand, it's just simply I'm going to switch. If I write with my left hand, I'm going to grab the top of my right hand, thumb down, and I'm going to put my left hand here. Now, hockey is played bent over. So you gotta bend your knees. You gotta bend at the hips. All right? And the first activity I want you to do is I just want you to get comfortable. So put your feet a little wider than your shoulders and you're just going to sweep the floor. Now mom and dad might see you doing it and say, why don't you use a vacuum? But obviously we're not gonna do that kind of sweep. So I want you to practice this for about 30 seconds. All right, so you can pause the video and go ahead and try it. All right, students, hopefully you were very successful in sweeping the floor. You got a little more comfortable going back and forth, swaying hips side to side, side to side. So, our next challenge is very similar. We're going to work on dribbling with our hockey broom. Now you can use a couple different items that you might have around the house. Take a couple pieces of paper, crumple it up into a nice ball. You can take a sock, turn it into a little sock ball like I've shown you before, or if you really want to, I've got a tennis ball, it's your choice. And simply you're gonna make a little obstacle course or some cones. So I don't need cones here, so I use some shoes and some of my dog toys. Yes. That's right, I said my dog voice. So you're going to set up a little course for yourself to practice dribbling. I've got the straight line. You can move it around so it's more like a zigzag. You can be as creative and awesome as you can. All right, so what you're going to do once I get the shoe back in the spot is you're going to just practice your dribble. So I'm going to take a paper ball. Or you can try all of them and see which one's easy, which is hard. So I'm basically going to push it. I'm going to try to use both sides of my stick. And then I'm going to go around. I'm going to weave around. Okay. And I'm going to try not to hit any of my obstacles. I can go back and do it again.
Now, you can try one of a couple different ways. You can just drag it on your stick. You can make little hits. I just fell off. Or you can really spread it out and try to use those sides of your stick. So that's level one challenge. Pause the video, go ahead and give it a shot. You're done? Wow, that was fast, that was quick. I bet you were super awesome. So I decided while you were working hard, take a little break and have a little bit of a snack. I'm gonna put my snack away. All right, for our next level, we're gonna work on our shooting. Now it's gonna be almost the same concept as dribbling on how, how, how we hold the stick. All right, but now, we're going to swing it behind us a little bit, not raising it above the knee, and swing it forward. Once again, not raising it above the knee. We're going to take a little bit of a wrist shot because we don't want to take a chance of swinging wildly and breaking a lamp or hitting somebody. We want to make sure we're going to be safe with this activity. Shooting is a lot of fun when it comes to hockey. Now, I have my little setup. I have my two markers, the shooting line from. Two toys once again that I have. I have four paper and sock balls I'm going to shoot into my basket, which is about eight feet away. And I've got a little teddy bear as my goalie, and he's a great goalie. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some practice shots. And remember, we're swinging across our body, which is making sure that all of our brain cells are really firing. And this activity is going to help us with our reading, our writing, our math, our video games. Yes, I know you play video games, some of you. And sports. So, you're going to set it all up, and you're going to practice making shots. Alright, make sure you hold the stick, you swing back and forward. I missed. I missed. Oh, I got the goalie down. Ah, oh, so close. Then I'm going to reset and try it again. So I want you to set up your own hockey shooting activity. You can play by yourself for multiple rounds or take turns if somebody's in the house with you and see who has a higher score. All right, you can pause the video. Great job, everybody. Hopefully you're able to score a lot of goals by playing multiple rounds. And if you're playing against or with somebody, that's amazing. For level three, I'm going to thank Coach the body for this idea. We're going to work on shooting, except instead of looking to get our sock ball, and I would suggest a sock ball for this one, into a basket, we're going to try to knock down all these cones as quick as we can. So it's going to involve dribbling and shooting. So I have my starting line because I don't have cones, using my dog toys again. Then I have non-breakable cups. I've got these tall cups. If you've got smaller ones, you know, solo cups, you can use them also. Just don't use your mom's blue china glasses. All right, I don't want to get an email about how you grow glasses. So, how this is going to work is you're going to use your sock ball. You're going to kind of stay behind your imaginary line. And one thing I keep failing to mention is you got to always make sure you keep your eye on the ball. Because when you swing and take your eye off the ball, you miss it. So keep your eye on it, you're going to ride your swing, and you're going to try to hit a cup. If you miss, you're going to run back, and you're going to dribble and take another shot. And keep dribbling. And this is where our cardio comes in. Now eventually, you'll make one. You knock the cup down, you simply take that cup and you stack it on another one. Whoop, oh, I was picking up. I'm going to dribble back. Okay. And the goal is ultimately to knock down all the cones so that they are one step. Okay. So imagine 
knock this one down, it goes there. And I knock this one down, it goes there. And I knock this one down, and I put it there. And when I knock it all down, I am done. All right, this is the last level. See how fast you can knock down your cones. I had five, you can do more, you can do less. Be creative. I want to see how well, or I should say, I want to know how well you did by putting stuff in the private comments. Tell me it's fun, but what was your score? How fast did you go? All right, my friends, be safe, be well, be happy. Be happy, always.